I'm sick. You said you were sick yesterday. I'm sick again today. Ah, oh, well, that wouldn't have anything to do with you eating an entire packet of chocolate biscuits last night, would it? Jonesy said I could. How are you sick? Stomachache. Show me. You've got school on today and you're going. But... Look, if you're still feeling sick, lad, you can give me a call and I'll come pick you up. Hey, how you doing, Smacker? I'm sick. Oh, that's a shame. I was just about to make pancakes. Have you ever chased anyone in this car? Sure have, mate. Are they real crooks or just people speeding? Well, Jones is a detective, mate. Which means I get to deal with the real crooks. And you just get to catch drunk drivers and speeders? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Alrighty. You got your lunch? Your homework? Yeah. Right. If you're still crook after recess... Unit clear. Reported fire in National Park past Ketchy's Gorge Road. Come on, Jonesy, you said I can take the next one. Rory. Come on, Jonesy. There you go, mate. Oh. Mount Thomas 5 and 9 to VKC will attend. <laughs> uh, thanks for that 509. You shouldn't encourage him. Well, you've got the call sign, right? Possibly newborn. Sounds like a cremation. Last reported infant death was two weeks ago. No matches on recent births. Unreported birth? Well, body disposed of in the National Park. I'd say some teenage girl didn't want to be pregnant, gave birth in secret. And probably hasn't seen a doctor since the birth. I'll check the hospitals and the clinics. Check nearby property, see if anybody saw anything. Yes, boss. Are you right? Yeah. I think fatherhood's making you soft, mate. Uh, yeah. Boss? I thought you were going to go and check the hospital. I'll get on to that when you tell me how you are. Been to the doctor. She's prescribed medication. I'm taking it. Well, you look more comfortable. Thank you. So... Well, does she have any idea what's going on? Detective. I can't believe no one saw who cremated this baby. Yeah, it would have been a reasonable fire. Enough have to partly melt that bracelet. Would have made short work of that. You're right. I am getting soft. Let's ask you here. Is there any chance of getting a burger to go? Hey. Hey, do you know anything about a fire in the National Park? No, it's a National Park. There shouldn't be any fires up there now. Not on fire ban days. Yes, but did you see anything? No. You doing much business? Oh, it's uh, pretty quiet. Yeah, people only knew what they were missing, you know? No pesticides, no chemical fertilisers. No damage to the, the soil or the people who harvest and eat them. That's what Kyle says. He used to pump me full of chemicals. Couldn't get my head right. No, I'm all right now. Right, that's good, mate. So what's up there? It's home. Morning. 
Is this your land, sir? Title's in my name, yes, but land belongs to everyone. Fires in the National Park. No, I didn't see anything. Sheila? No. Terrible time to be burning off. Uh, well, did you notice anything out of the ordinary last night, Mr... Uh... Lundrum, but he prefers Kyle. We don't use last names here. We're in bed pretty soon after sundown. Sorry. The guy at the store was singing your praises. Morgan. He said that eating organic food saved his life. Morgan healed himself. But eating uncontaminated food certainly helped. So have you had any pregnant women staying with you? Yes. Beth. But she left. And when was this? Months ago. Beth. Is there any other details? We don't use surnames here. <laughs> You're a born sucker. That's what I like about you, mate. You take buying organic veggies as a personal affront. They're idiots. They're harmless. Come on. Forgiveness farm? Well, that's the way they want to live. I joined a cult once. Vegetarian food, peace and tranquility. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why? It actually wasn't that bad. Chanting, meditation, it actually works. I did feel more peaceful. Well, if it was so great, why'd you leave? I couldn't handle the restrictions in the end. So what are you going to do with this? Well, it's for Rory. It's about time he had something else besides coffee and chocolate biscuits. Mate, it's broccoli. I know it's... to mate Thomas 509. Receiving you, VKC. He came in half an hour ago. Says he's got stomach pains and a headache. Hey, mate. You OK? It's not so bad now. Maybe he really is sick. Is he well enough to go back to class? Well, that's really your call. Is there someone who could look after him for the day? Where have you been? Uh. I had to make a slight diversion, boss. Mount Thomas Police comes from a report of a theft at the chemist shop on Penhope Road. Somebody's knocked off a $200 bottle of perfume. Right. Shirt. Oh. Uh, radio, Joss Thanks. and Thanks. Matt. Thanks. I'm driving, mate. Uh, Alex? Yeah? A teenage girl has just been brought into the hospital. Recent birth, no sign of a baby. Right. Severe mastitis, possible retained placenta. Lucky she didn't wait much longer before coming in. Has she said anything about the baby? Nothing. And judging by her condition... You'd be pretty concerned. Well, she's told you anything. Just her name? Beth Garland. The girl from the farm? They don't use surnames. So what happened to your baby, Beth? She died. How? I don't know. Well, you must have some idea. She just died. Beth, where were you when you had your baby? Beside the road. What are you doing? Trying to get to Melbourne. Hitching? I felt her coming. So I lay down. And? She was dead. Stillborn. So what did you do? I buried her. There were some flowers there. Are you sure you didn't cremate her? Burn the body. No. We spoke to the people at Forgiveness Farm. They mentioned a girl called Beth. Were you staying there? When did you leave? A few days ago. Morgan, isn't it? Might if we talk for a few minutes? I'm kind of busy. Won't take long. Hey, uh, did you know Beth? She used to live here, right? Yeah. Have you seen her recently? Have you seen her baby? Did Beth leave recently? 
the last few days, or was it longer? Did Carl tell you not to talk to us? No, it was Sheila. Why would you say that? You've got nothing to hide? No. Then we're just talking. Nothing wrong with that, is there? I suppose not. Right, so Beth, was she a friend of yours? Is she OK? She's very sick. She should have seen a doctor days ago. Poor girl. Yes, well, this poor girl can't account for the baby she's been carrying. No, you're only trying to do your job. OK, so Beth said that she left here a few days ago. Perhaps she's confused. Well, a few days or a few months, which is it? But Beth already told you she didn't have the baby here. What do you people do out here? Is it so difficult for you to accept that we live here in peace and understanding? Frankly, yes. Morgan? This trench is nearly finished. I need you to drive me somewhere, Morgan. Sheila took the car. I thought you could drive me in the ute. Yeah, sure. Where do you want to go? Hospital. Well, we'd be happy to take you. Kyle! I was so scared. I thought you didn't care. Mr. Lundrum? Was this your child? Yes. You said she left a few months ago. She told us it was a few days. Well, I can't be expected to keep track of the comings and goings of everyone on the farm. She's the mother of your child. Mr Lundgren, could you tell us what you know about the cremation? Beth needs me. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to stop you when you sent her on her way a few days ago. That's no sergeant. Who the hell's this? This is the guy who stole the perfume from the chemist. That's just a mannequin in a uniform. He'd also stolen these. <laughs> and this. <laughs> What's he gonna do? <laughs> oh, he's all yours. Close, but no cigar. Thank me, Sergeant. To us. Where was the battle known as the Eureka Stockade fought? Iraq. Excuse me for a moment, would you, Rory? One there. Come with me. Slowly, slowly through the hay. No, sir, your name. Take me back and roll me slowly. Your name, your slowly. name, sir. You want a name? Yes. Doris Hadley. Banged like a dunny door. Take me back and roll me slowly, 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 slowly through the hay. I, hey! Trumped up little corporal. Lorne Coleman. Never heard of him. He says he's sick. And is he? He might be putting it on, I'm not sure. Then send him back to school. Well, sure, then they call me again in half an hour. If you can't be a decent sergeant, at least be a decent father. Go all day on one of these. All day and all night, and not come up for air. <laughs> sure, mate. Thanks. Where's your mate? Oh, he's just contacting your family. Ah, <sighs> wonderful. Look, is there anything we can do for you? Shoot me now. Your mate would love that. I'm so sorry, Constable. Has he been difficult? Well, there's been singing. Singing? He doesn't seem to know who he is or where he is. Well, he's pretty difficult and he's hearing shot, but his mind's all right. And then there's the stuff he's stolen. Oh, Dad. Mr Coleman, I had a chat to the shop owners and they've agreed to sign statements of no complaint. What did he steal? Oh, that's not important. He stole lingerie, perfume and... Uh... And a dog collar. Oh, Dad! What were you thinking? Oh, now you've come. After they've beaten me, stolen my valuables. Oh, for God's sake, Dad! Don't you blaspheme at me! 
That's not my son. Get him away from me. Do you have to give the son all the grisly details? It's his daddy's got to know. And we should be charging him. <laughs> he stole the stuff. So what, charge him with being a nutter? Well, he's smart enough to steal some pretty expensive stuff. Matt, he's 70 years old and he's stealing lingerie. Hey, we just got the prelim autopsy report for the baby. There was pesticide found in the remains. Pesticide? I strongly urge you not to do this. She's an adult. She can make her own decision. She's not well enough to leave. She's not going anywhere. Beth has asked us to take her back to the farm. Well, she's changed her mind, haven't you? Take her back in. And you two wait here. Remember that baby we found? The one that had been cremated. That had traces of pesticides through the remains. That poison all through its system. Would have died terribly and in great pain. that this was your baby. But there's two things we don't know. Why you killed your baby. And if Kyle helped you. They said you would do this. They said you'd blame Kyle. I won't let you. I loved Portia. So did Kyle. Where do you keep your chemicals, Mr. Lundgren? I've tried to tell you we don't use pesticide here. Seen everything. Is that your land? Past the fence, yes. Well, we haven't seen everything. Blood. So someone bled on it. Well, at least you won't have to worry about rats. Not with this. Pesticide. So you lied about when Beth left the farm, and you lied about where she gave birth. Please, try to understand... Did you have anything to do with the death of this baby? How can you even ask that? I loved Portia. Yet you let the baby's mother leave the farm on foot after giving birth. That was her own choice. What about the cremation? Do you still maintain you had nothing to do with that? I was devastated when Portia died. But there's nothing anyone could do to change that. I thought the least that we could do would be to have some sort of ceremony. To say goodbye. A ceremony? You threw her on the fire and set it alight. It wasn't like that. Oh, it must have seemed like a handy way to get rid of the poison. Yeah, but now that we found the pesticide in the caravan... I'm... Rat poison. No! 
There's no pesticide of any kind on my farm. I had no idea the poison was there. Really? Beth's the only one who spent any time in that caravan. Well, Mr. Lundrum says the van is yours. I bought it, yes, under Kyle's instruction. Look, I run the farm. Oh, we... busy woman. We have people who rely on us. Like Beth Garland. Beth is a much-loved member of the farm. Were you there at the birth? Yes. It was very difficult for Beth. We took care of her and the baby as best we could, while nature took its course. And you didn't think it appropriate to find some medical advice? We don't believe in conventional medicine. The baby died. Beth was asked if she wanted a doctor for the baby. She chose to treat her on the farm. With rat poison? With a herbal remedy. So you have no idea how the baby ingested pesticide? No. Beth lived in the caravan. Ask her. You came trying to blame them. They're good and kind. Well, did they give us some of the poison we found in the caravan? What happened? I killed her. How? How you said. I gave her poison. I'm not eating this. It's on your plate, you eat it. Hey, hey, dinner time. What the hell's that? It's lasagna. Is it supposed to have broccoli in it? Yes. Well, where's the meat? It's vegetarian. Come on, when was the last time you had something green? Oh, last night. We had a packet of spearmint leaves, didn't we, mate? <laughs> eat your vegetables, both of you. Well, there's only one way I'm gonna get through this. The old dead oars. There you go, mate. What? I'm sick. You've been through this before. All right, bacon and eggs, boys. I feel sick. No. Time to get up. Come on. Now. Come on. Get up. There. Sarge? Yeah, I'm sorry I'm late. Rory Jerk is here. There's this been morning. another theft. This time a lady shaver. We'll bring him in. I'll go to it. Yeah, right. Don't. What do you think he's doing with this stuff? Does it matter? Did he just skip? No, his pacemaker did. Is that his garden? No. It's going to take all day, come on. <laughs> well, he's got staying power, doesn't he? Where am I? Oh. Is that my name? I'll drop the act. Take me back. Yeah, and no more singing. So what's going on, mate? All right. All right. Charge me. Who gives a rats? But everything I stole, I gave to Bambi. Your girlfriend? Why? To impress her? Seems to have worked. 
Give a girl some flowers. Yeah, but you stole more than flowers. And I wouldn't have had to steal anything if tight ass out there hadn't kept my pension for rent and board. And tight ass being. Oh, Dad. Don't oh dad me. Are you happy with the treatment by the police here today? Until you buggers arrested me. I'm just disappointed. Get used to it. Why? I'm in love, you moron. Not that he'd know anything about it. Just sign here, please. This is the last straw, Dad. What are you going to do? Put me down? Sign here. No, Dad. We booked you into the retirement village. Well, I'm not going. Where else are you going to go? I'm moving in with Bambi. What? Miss Dulfer? Just up the road? Didn't you say she's got a cute angina? That's not what I said. <laughs> hey, Sarge. Mm. Call out to the lundrum farm. All right. Let's take care of that. <laughs> dollars a month. That's what I cost. Fifteen hundred. To keep you on that farm. So your parents pay that to Mr. Lundgren? No. To Sheila. What? Because I'm happy there. So why are they trying to kick you out? Beth. The baby? No, just Beth. She was sick. I couldn't leave her there. I told her. You have to go, I said. So you helped her out of the caravan? She was crying and crying, and Sheila didn't care. It's okay, mate. It's okay. Was the baby with her? No. Beth had the baby, and then Sheila took it away. Not took. But I looked after it, yes. So why didn't you tell us this before? He didn't ask. Well, you implied that the baby was poisoned in the caravan by her mother. I didn't say that. How did Beth feel about you taking her baby? Beth was happy with the arrangement. Which was? She would have Carl's child. Carl and I would bring it up. Did you ask Beth to leave the farm? No. Why would I do that? Beth left of her own free will. Without her child? Look, what you need to understand about Morgan is he is very unwell. It's become clear to us we don't have the expertise to deal with him. All of which has been made worse by his growing infatuation with Beth. He didn't tell you he was in love with her? Did Beth hand her baby over to Kyle and Sheila willingly? It was good before she came. Carl used to look after us. And then Sheila turned up and it all started rotting. She just took over. I've gone through their financial records. Turns out Forgiveness Farm is quite a thriving little enterprise. They clean up selling veggies at their roadside store and they also sell wholesale to the market. As well as that, they're receiving regular cash payments from Morgan's parents and others. Are these payments made willingly? Apparently so. Then you've got nothing. I'm sick. 
And what is it this time? My stomach still hurts, but now it feels like I'm going to chuck. You are not sick. You're just looking for attention. Now, I know you've been through a lot of changes and you miss your mum, but you are not sick, OK? You're staying in school. Well, I believe there's something else going on. But you've got enough... Acting sergeant. You've got nothing on the people at the farm. No. So the mother has to be responsible for the pesticide. You'll have to charge her. Well, you've searched the property and found nothing. We haven't tested their produce. We found pesticide in your vegetables. Rubbish. The same pesticide that was found in the baby's remains. I bought a box of stuff from you yesterday. We had it tested. Sergeant! We've been as helpful as we possibly could, and in the face of considerable rudeness. Hey, mate. Stick around. I can excuse a certain amount of ignorance, but when it comes to protecting my people, I will not let this go. Your people? Yes. They look to me for guidance and forgiveness, and you're treating me like this. For their sake, I will not let this stand. This is my community. Now, I've told you we don't spray anything on our vegetables. I forbid it. Is that right? Morgan? I know how you feel about Beth. You don't want to hurt her. But she's going to be charged with murder. You don't want that, do you? We do spray something on our vegetables. No, Morgan. That's not right. We use a spray, but it's all natural. Sheila says that it keeps the bugs off the vegetables. She said that you made it. Morgan's confused. No, I'm not! She keeps it in a car. I can't believe them, Kyle. Please! Hey, Sheila! Come on. Come on. I did it for you and the farm. Get him in the car. This way. Phone call for you. It's Rory. Hey! Wait! Dad! Hey, Mr. Kirby, you're his dad? Yeah, yeah, what happened? Ruptured appendix. We need to operate now, right now. Consent forms. I take it we have your consent? Yeah. I don't... Oh. Hey, Rory! I wanted a child. Sheila couldn't have children. That's why she chose Beth. It was Sheila's idea. And you thought that was fine? She was young, healthy. She admired me. And when the baby was born? Sheila took care of her. She fed her every four hours. You should check the bottle she used. Why would Sheila do that? She seemed happy enough. She said you loved me. You're expecting us to believe that, eh? I had no idea. Right, so... Beth was just going to hand her baby over. And life was just going to keep chugging along in Happy Valley. Sheila took care of everything. And you let her! You look the other way. Oh, she murdered your baby. I love him. 
You said that you picked Beth to carry his child. Why? I couldn't give him what he wanted. He wanted a baby. He wanted a son. So you just pick one of the flock, is that right? I thought Beth would be perfect. Young, a bit simple. Not too much of a threat. But it took them so long to get pregnant. I had to keep trying and trying again and again. I was in the next room. I couldn't help it. I had to listen. I had to hear if he loved her. And did he? I, I don't know. But it was worse after she got pregnant. He couldn't stop fussing over her, stroking her stomach, whispering in her ear. I hated that baby. I hated that baby. Uh, lift home for Mr. Lundrum. Kyle, are you okay? I'm disappointed, Morgan. I'll take you home. Everything's ruined. We can start again. I'm sorry, Morgan. But you'll have to go. But I live there. That's my home. Not anymore. But where will I go? Just stand on your own two feet. You'll be fine. No, I won't be fine. What'll happen to me? I've got nowhere else to go. Please, I live there. How's it going? There's no word. It's not your fault. He's going to be okay. Can I see him? Sure. Did you want him? To... No, I don't know, mate. Later. He needs his dad. I just came to say goodnight. Detective. There's something I need to talk to you about. 